do before I stand right. up just playing quarterback. Yeah. So let's go through this journey. All right. So Stampede Records is out there now. You know what I'm saying? Now you 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 taking control over the mic. Now, what was your ideal of forming the whole Stampede Records as far as that, how you got right now? Man, my it, like like I said again, all of us grew up together. Right. We knew that B Love sung. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? We knew like Hellraiser came in with uh, on the outside boys where they had uh, 17 Egg with uh, T Bird and uh, uh, Fat Baby. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it was like it was right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was right there. Like everybody just it, it just happened, bro. Everybody was right there. It was just a, you know okay. Like still cool. rest in peace, the Bone Wing too, man. Froze yeah, on the Wing, knowing number yeah. love, man. Right. Hey, uh, I was gonna get to that because you know I had Froze on her. You know what I'm saying? And he talked highly of you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you know, and he was telling me how it, it all started there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was, it was, I mean, like I'm saying, it was all there though, bro. Like right. it, it just came, it just came together. Like seriously, bro. Right. It wasn't no like. We recruited niggas. I mean, I don't know where they came. I don't know where everybody came from. Like, right. with the little Joe and the Moe, but it was right there, bro. Right. So like, it was destined to happen right there. So what was so what was the process of starting? You know, what I'm saying your first album. You know, what I'm saying how was you? You know, like, you know, because so, you know sometimes I know it. You know, it's natural putting together something when you do it and you're around it all the time. But like. Who was doing the beats? Like, who, who, what was the yeah. idea of putting the album cover together? You know what I'm saying? And what was your favorite track up off of there? <laughs> off what? My solo project? Yeah, uh huh. My favorite track is, um, well, How Can I Owe You? You know what I'm saying? Because that motherfucker just, one I had deep thoughts on. You know what I'm saying? I would say some of the shit I wanted to say, or if I was go sugarcoat some of the shit I wanted to say, but I just said what came from my heart. You feel me? Right. Yeah. So that's just that was just that though. You right. Know what I'm saying, but I got money was a track that we was just bullshitting around with. You know what I'm saying? Like we just high side and just came about. High side. You know okay. What, what was your high side about? Money. Just money. Yeah. Period. Yeah, just like, okay. Yeah, nigga, tell me. Like my partner asked me, nigga, how you do this? Nigga, I got money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like nigga, nigga, bitches like you think I got bitches. Like yeah. we just, we just smoke goofy ass shit. We was trying. <laughs> and it's shit always be, it yeah. always be the ones. Like it's crazy. Like I tell everybody, it always be the ones people bullshit on and, and they, they, they just catch. You know what I'm saying? But for as my my project, it wasn't even for my project. It was a, a double disc, the one that we're doing the 20, the 20 year reunion on right now. That's the one that I really liked it because it was all of us as a whole, you know what I'm right. saying? It wasn't about me, because the music wasn't never about me in the first place. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so it was about shit. Hustling out of Grandma Key Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I would be shit.